Okay, I'm here with actor Anthony Lee Medina. Hi. Who is currently starring as Eduardo on Flesh and Bone. Yeah. But before we talk about that show, which has received uh, quite critical acclaim, uh, let's take it back to when you first decided you wanted to become an actor. Um, okay. Uh, I was constantly singing throughout like my youth, my entire youth, and I guess when I was 16, I started doing musical theater. Mm -hmm. um, and it went from like one show to like seven shows in a year. Um, in like the Westchester County area, mm -hmm. and I basically didn't know what to do for college, so I started musical theater. And you went to Pace University, correct? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I went to Pace for a year. And um, you were in the first national tour of Spring Awakening as Otto. What was that like? Um, oh god, that was crazy. I went to like an open call mm -hmm. in my senior year of high school, and they basically in the room gave me, asked me to do Touch Me, and I'd heard it like once, mm -hmm. and they interviewed me, which was crazy. And I thought everyone was having this experience. So when I walked out, like I went with a bunch of friends, and they all like attacked me because I was in there for like 20 minutes. Um, and then six months later, I was cast. And then six months later, we started rehearsals, and we did it for two years. Yeah, that's a long time to be away from home. What was it like um, having that be one of your, you know, bigger breaks? to get taken away from Oh God. Um, it was a crazy time. Uh, I was 19. Mm -hmm. um, everybody in the cast is basically 19 years old or in that area in their 20s. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a lot of people were figuring themselves out during that. And it was also a show about figuring yourself out. Right. So we experienced so many very strange things. Um, we had like girls follow us home on our bus, like to our hotel, which was really crazy to me. Yeah. Cause we were in a musical. <laughs> so, you were like a beetle. <laughs> yeah, we were like little rock stars. So that like experience definitely um, made it feel really cool. But at the same time, at 19, like you should not be on the road in that type of a show. It right. was a very tiring experience. Yeah, but beautiful at the same time. It's my best friends are from there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And now uh, your first television appearances were on The Carrie Diaries. What yeah. was that like? Uh, to book that and you know talk a little bit about your character. Oh God! Um, so I went in. I like submitted myself an Actors Access, mm -hmm. and they s said come in. I had an appointment and I said like four lines into an iPhone, and they cast me. Um, I'd never done t TV in my life, and it's such a different world in theater. Mm -hmm. Just like the vocabulary, um, people were saying things like go to craft services, and I didn't know what that was. Or like martini, just like little random things that they were just expecting of me. Right. Um, but it was amazing. I was, it was one of the coolest experiences. Everyone was really nice on that show. Um, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> and then you also did a nice guest starring role on Blue Bloods, where your character was did. pretty intense. What yeah. was that like? I mean, that was a oh, huge, God. Uh, huge role number one. On yeah. The, you know, as a guest star, and you know. Very taxing. For it was, people who remember the episode. It was really taxing. Um, that was that process was crazy. I basically I've never wanted. Not, spoiler alert! Um, I commit suicide, mm -hmm. um, and I've never wanted to commit suicide. So I didn't really understand like what that was. So I basically like went really strangely method, which is not my thing, and like spent three days like depressed, mm -hmm. and then I got cast after like sitting in a room with this director who was amazing and he was just like feeding me words to like work on and play with in the room um and then i got it so i spent another like week completely depressed um but it was amazing donnie Wahlberg is so cool mm -hmm. um latonya richardson is amazing and i didn't know she was samuel L. jackson's husband or wife which was shocking and very cool uh -huh. um and like that whole team is just it's such a because they've been doing it for so long, that show, they're so prepared. They know exactly how it's going to go and what the process is. Mm -hmm. So it was fast and it was fun. It was fun. Now, your scenes pretty much throughout the entire episode are quite dramatic with your interrogation. Yeah. And then also, obviously, at the end with the suicide, did you film them in order or? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, we filmed the interrogation first mm -hmm. and then the suicide. And then we went back to that like big, or that little chunk where I get shot. Mm -hmm. And, spoiler it again. Um, <laughs> uh, but it was funny, I was, I think 
I had something personal happen when for this right before I had to film the scene of being shot. Mm -hmm. I was very sad and I was I wish it would have been the other ones right. because that was like the easiest scene of them all and Donnie Donnie he kept throwing me into this fence and I like started bleeding and I was like, hey, can you chill out? And he was like, what, you want to play with the big boys? I was like, <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. So we like kept playing. It was, I mean, that was such a fun experience and they're really cool. Cool, and now, you know, your newest role is on uh, Flesh and Bone as Eduardo. Yeah. So why don't you talk a little bit about your character and, and the show in general. Um, Eduardo is crazy. <laughs> um, he's really fiery and he is the lover of Ben Daniels, who's the lead of the show, who I watched on House of Cards. So being able to work with him was incredible. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I do like three episodes in the eight episodes of the Limit series and it's really fun. It's a lot of fun. That show is, Moira's incredible. She's one of those people that like just looks into your soul the entire time. Mm -hmm. um, and they cast me on like my initial cap, my initial um, audition, and she said that when she she didn't know what I what the character looked like until she saw me, and that was like the nice. biggest compliment I've ever gotten in my life. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that that process was crazy, and then the scenes are crazy as well. So it was a lot of fun. <laughs> and the show's nominated for Golden Globe and also for yeah. an Emmy Award. So. Oh, uh, not Emmy yet. We're not Emmy. we're crossing our fingers okay. for that. Um. But Sarah, our lead, uh, who plays Claire, was nominated for a Golden Globe, and the show is nominated for a Best Limited Series as well. Very cool. So that's got to be the icing on the cake. Yeah, it's it's an amazing. We were not expecting that, um, especially because the show is on on such a, a network that is hard to get. Because mm -hmm. a lot of my friends can't even don't have stars, they don't watch stars. Um, but just the fact that we got that validation and the people that I mean. I had an easy job. Everyone in that show is doing double duty, being a ballerina and being an actress and in these like really stressful scenes. And that validation was really incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really cool. And you also have done some theater work, mm -hmm. not just on the road. You were just in the New York uh, Music Festival. Oh my God, yeah, I was. Um, I did a workshop of this musical called Illa. Uh, it's a hip hop musical about this boy who's a ballet dancer that wants to uh, be with this girl. And it's it was really fun. Um, I really enjoy those processes, and specifically that show, um, because our director, J. Kyle Manzi, was so uh, eager to make it a, a, like an experience, and the show was totally an experience. And it's hip-hop theater. That's like my favorite thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now, what are some of the differences to you uh, bouncing from stage to screen? Is there one that you yeah. feel more comfortable in? Is there one that you not like better, but it get obviously you get an instant gratification from a theater yeah. experience? I mean, they're completely different experiences. <clears throat> um, just cause like when you go through, a sh when you're in a show, you're going through the entire experience from start to finish and TV and film, you film out of order and you have like repeated takes constantly until they get what they want. Um, mm -hmm. I love both of them so much. I am, at this point in my life, I want more TV experience just because it's been, um, few, it's so far between. Um, I've been, I started my TV career like two years ago mm -hmm. and I've had four projects and I, I don't want to like basically do something for a long period of time and see what that's like now. Cause I've done the theater for a very long time. And, right. Yeah. Cause you're you're so old. <laughs> <laughs> you're am, just an old theater queen. I, I am 26. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems like a long time when you're actually yeah. the one pounding the pavement. So. Totally. I I mean I've been doing this since I was 19, I guess professionally, and it's been a really crazy process. And I wouldn't say change not one thing mm -hmm. because it's made me who I am now, and I've learned so much during this crazy journey, and there's so much more. Yeah. That's very cool. Well, you're obviously very humble, and uh, we look forward Thanks. to seeing what you have coming down the pipeline. Thanks. Thank you, Anthony. You too. Bye.